Hey guys, welcome to the 96th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Notify Icon Control. And basically, the Notify Icon Control will allow us to have a uh, balloon tip message show from the system tray. And the system tray is uh, this right down here. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a notify icon. So just go over to your toolbox and drag a notify icon over to your form. The first thing that we're going to have to do is uh, select an icon uh, for our notify icon. And basically this will just be the image that the uh, notify icon uh, balloon tip will come out of. So like if you were to have a balloon tip show from uh, I don't know, Visual Studio right here, then then uh, the balloon tip would pop out of uh, this image right here. So we're going to need to provide an image for it. And I'm just going to use this image, but it doesn't really matter what you use, but it has to be an ICO format. And you can find uh, ICO format or icon images at iconfinder.com. So once you have your icon selected, just go ahead and double click on button one right here. In order to show our uh, balloon tip message, we're going to do notify icon one dot show balloon tip. And the first um, parameter that it calls for is a timeout in integers, in an integer. And basically this, it says right here, the time period in milliseconds the balloon ship tip should display. So basically, however long the balloon tip will be displayed in milliseconds. And we want it to be displayed for one second. So we're just going to put 1,000 here for 1,000 milliseconds or one whole second. We're also going to need uh, a title for our tooltip. I'm just going to make it say my title. We're also going to need to have uh, text inside of our tooltip. I'm just going to make it say my text for right now. We'll make it something different later on. And we're also going to need an icon for our tooltip. I'm just going to make it say info because there's, there's no there's no error or anything like that. So now we debug here and click this button. We should get a notify icon or a balloon tip from our uh, system tray right here. Yep, and as you can see, it's from the icon that we selected. Now, these are commonly used when you're hiding your application. So if you hid your application and then you just wanted to let users know that your application is still running, you could use the uh, notify icon to do that. So in order to hide your application, you just want to do this because this will refer to form one. So whatever class you're in, and then we're going to do dot uh, hide. And the hide method will basically just hide the form from users. And we're just going to let them know that it's still running. So we're just going to change this to still running. And let's change this to your app is still running. So now we debug here and click this button. Uh, this form should be hidden, and we should get a notify icon or a balloon tip telling us so and telling us that the application is still running. Yep, it's still running. Now, in order to have the application uh, come back or so we can view it again, we're just going to create an event for when someone double clicks on the balloon tip. So we're just going to go down here, select our notify icon, go over to events, go down to mouse. Uh, double click. And then we're just going to say this dot show. So now when someone double clicks on the balloon tip, uh, the application should be shown once again. Yep, well now if you want, well, I guess this one's in the way. I'll have to go back to uh, this icon. Yep, it shows up. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.